Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, this morning we happen to be in my kitchen. Yes, we're in my kitchen. Why? Because today's broadcast is called An Ounce of Prevention Equals a Pound of Cure. And I'm sure that you guys have heard that saying before, right? An ounce of prevention. Good morning, Lena. An ounce of prevention prevents um, a pound of cure. So what does that mean? Uh, before we go into that, let me tell you, we're here for Monday Morning Oats. Monday Morning Oats is what you do and where you come to after the weekend has blasted you with work and stresses and all kinds of other things. And you come here, you show up because you want some mind, body, spirit Wheaties. You want to be jogged. You want to be motivated. You want to be lifted up. So we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we are in my kitchen. We are in my kitchen and we are talking about... An ounce of provision um, equals a pound of cure. I have friends from St. Louis calling me. That's my hometown. I have friends from St. Louis calling me this weekend uh, asking for different home remedies. I had a wonderful friend of mine who wasn't feeling well. And so what I want to do this morning is talk a little bit about preventative maintenance and ways that we are going to um, help to to not heal or cure something after we've already gotten it, but we're going to do something to build our immunity to keep us from getting it in the first place. We're going to talk a little bit about that, okay? That okay? Thank you. Uh, little info I, I didn't think you guys may know. A single sneeze can leave your mouth at 200 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, grab it. It can leave your mouth at 200 miles per hour, and it will produce up to 40,000 droplets. Ew! So when people sneeze, oh my God, and they sneeze out loud, you're like, oh my God. There's a reason for oh my God, because one sneeze can produce up to 40,000 droplets. Um, and those could be, each, if just one of them um, in, has a virus in it, then you can get that virus. But the good thing is, even though it can produce up to 40,000 droplets um, and affect up to 40,000 cells, we have trillions of cells in the body. So you got plenty to work with, right? Once inhaled, a single virus produces millions of copies in your cells. So once you inhale that one droplet, um, it starts to... Replicate, 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 replicate. And it wants to be the boss. It wants to reign supreme. But once again, we have trillions of cells to come and help to fight that off, right? Um, you want to be able to, again, prevent it rather than try to cure it or to heal it. One of the ways um, to prevent it to begin with is to minimize your refined sugars your white rice, your white bread, your white sugar, um, the soda pops, um, soda pops, I'm not from Chicago, your um, soft drinks, minimize your refined sugars, the Starbucks, the, um, the um, things that come in your, you know, um, Gatorades and stuff, all that stuff has refined sugars in it. So you want to minimize your refined sugars and you want to minimize your carbohydrates. Chai, can you get me the milk? Minimize your carbohydrates. Um, again, that's white potatoes because I love vegan chili cheese fries. So I have to remind myself that, yeah, you want to keep that down. There's a place, Viva La Vegan, chili cheese fries off the chain. Yeah, I just shouted that out. But minimize that. That's a treat. Minimize your carbohydrates, um, your breads, your potatoes even your sweet potatoes, minimize those carbohydrates, and that's going to help to build the immunity to begin with. Then you want to increase your probiotics. Those chili cheese fries are ridiculous. Uh, increase your probiotics. And I want to show you a couple of probiotics here. Here is one. This one is by Farmhouse Culture. You can see it's raw. It's a probiotic. Uh, you drink it daily. It's vegan. I haven't had my shot yet. I wanted to have my shot with you guys. So if I was really doing something classy, I would have my little shot cup, but I don't. So here we go. It's not the tastiest, 
but it's not the worst. It's basically a uh, fermented cabbage juice. It's delicious in some ways. It takes up. Uh, it can curb your appetite, which is very good because it's working on your digestive. So it doesn't want you to keep putting food in after you take it. It kind of wants you to let that relax and let that chill so it can work to healing your lining, healing the intestinal walls, and all of that good stuff. Here is another one, a fermented, this is a probiotic, it's a fermented raw organic kraut. This is, if you like sauerkraut, you'll love this stuff. If you don't like sauerkraut, you'll hate this stuff. Um, again, it's okay to take it. It's fermented, so it'll last, it has a long shelf life. I'm going to taste it so you can get my real reaction. I'm already salivating, y'all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. So, wild brine, raw organic kraut. You want to increase those. Those are probiotics. Those fermented foods, the liquid drink. You can do a supplement. It doesn't kick in as fast, but that's okay. Sleep. Have a nice sleep schedule. And exercise. 10, 15 minutes a day. Don't make that a big deal. Get it in where you can fit it in at your chair, running, jogging, um, walking, whatever it takes. Try to get that in. Increase that. We're going to build your immunity. And so now, for the fun part, and I'm going to let you guys go. I've turned on my stove back here. I've got it warmed up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to turn it on high so I don't waste your time. We're going to make an awesome immunity building drink called turmeric tea. If you want to write that down, you can write this down. It's called turmeric tea. It's called golden milk. Um, you can call it whatever you like as long as you can make it and drink it. It contains a cup of almond milk or so, a tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of fresh grated ginger, a teaspoon of black pepper. You need the black pepper in order to absorb the turmeric. Uh, you, turmeric is more easily and readily, readily absorbed into the body if you have the black pepper behind it. Um, there's a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then you're going to do honey to taste. So I have my pot here, and we're just going to quickly make some... Hey, Michael, good morning! We're going to quickly make our turmeric tea. And Michael, since you just came in, I'm going to let you see this right quick if you can get a snapshot of it. Um, this is called turmeric tea or golden milk. It's great for building your immune system. You want to have a cup of turmeric tea like your coffee or your regular tea every day. Um, this is going to help build your immune system. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's a decongestant. It makes you feel good. It's winter time, y'all. Give this recipe to your family and friends. You're going to add the honey to taste, so you're going to make it taste as good as you want it to. So basically, I just got some regular old great value unsweetened almond milk. You want to try to keep the sugars out of there. I'm going to add a cup of that to my pot. They say almond milk doesn't contain that much almonds, and it doesn't. So what? It's better than a, a sausage and egg biscuit from McDonald's. Then you're going to add about a tablespoon, a big spoon, whatever you want to call it, of turmeric. Turmeric is wonderful for the body. It's like a superfood. It definitely is good. Michael, it's good for men and their prostates. You want to use that as often as possible. And you can get it however you can get it. I usually get it from Whole Foods in this container because I use a lot of it. But it's just turmeric. Um, then you want to take and put in a dash or two of pepper. I just got good old school Aldi black pepper. It ain't expensive. Throw that in there. Again, you want to use that to help you to absorb the nutrients of the turmeric. You want to add a, a dash of the cayenne pepper. This is a build of immunity, and this is also what helps it to be a decongestant. So you put a, a, a pinch. You know, you don't want it too hot. You put a pinch of the cayenne pepper in there. I just put a few pinches, y'all. It, it ain't rocket science. Don't make it hard. Don't make it complicated. And then one of our key ingredients is fresh ginger. Now, if you're going to grate ginger in something, you don't have to worry about peeling it. But if you want to know how to peel it quick and easy, just take a spoon and go around it, and you can get some of that skin off if you like. You don't have to use a knife. You don't have to use the peeler. It's a very thin skin. <clears throat> now, not like y'all. Don't y'all be thin skin. Y'all be thick skinned, okay? 
and then you take this little grater thingy here and you grate about a tablespoon of fresh ginger over into your turmeric tea. I love fresh ginger, so I do not skimp on it. And then last but not least, you want your local honey. Any local honey will do. Um, this one happens to be raw. G ginger is also a belly blaster. Yes, it is. It's going to help increase that metabolism. It's going to flatten that tummy. You're going to be fine as wine. Let's build those summer bodies this winter, y'all. Then you just take the honey, about a tablespoon. I like to do it to taste. My family likes it, so I add a little bit more honey. Hey, welcome, everybody. We're just whipping up some turmeric tea right here. And so I add the honey. Give it a little whisk. You don't want it to get too hot. You want it to try to stay as raw as possible. So I whisk that all up. And then I'm pouring it into my little coffee mugs. Cause we, Good morning. Because I just bought coffee mugs because I realized it's coffee mug season. So you put that in your coffee mug. Voila. You have your flu fighter, cold fighter, inflammatory fighter. Uh, it helps with Crohn's. It helps with all of these issues that are plaguing us. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's a beautiful. Let me put it in my wine glass so y'all can see the color. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, y'all, I'm going to drink turmeric tea out of a wine glass just so y'all can see the beautiful color. This is the turmeric tea, golden milk, whatever you want to call it. So an ounce of prevention equals a pound of cure. For those of you who missed it, go back and check the beginning. We just made the wonderful turmeric tea. And an ounce of provision means and helps you to know that you love you. And I want to remind you that I love you. Happy Monday morning. It's been me, Crystal Shea, your plant-powered, plant-passionate, plant-positive, positive mom of six, ranging in the ages from 3 to 23. Y'all out. Enjoy this Monday. Kick it hard for me. All right. Love you. Bye.